Hello guys, how are you? I hope so that you will be fine and enjoying good health. Today's my topic is on non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD and NASH. What is its definition? I will tell you that non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, is a condition in which fat builds up in your liver. Non-alcoholic fatty liver NAFL and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis NASH are types of NAFLD which is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. If you have NASH, you have inflammation and liver damage along with fat in your liver. As far as symptoms are concerned, then usually non-alcoholic fatty liver disease NAFLD is a silent disease with few or no symptoms. Certain health conditions and diseases including obesity, metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes make you more likely to develop NAFLD. And as far as concerned about the diagnosis, the doctors use your medical history to do the physical exam and test to diagnose non-alcoholic fatty liver disease NAFLD. Doctor may use uh, blood tests, imaging tests and liver biopsy to diagnose NAFLD and tell the difference between non-alcoholic fatty liver NAFL or non-alcoholic steatio hepatitis NASH. What is about the treatment? I will tell you that doctors recommend weight loss to treat non-alcoholic fatty liver disease which is either non-alcoholic fatty liver disease NAFL or non-alcoholic steatitio hepatitis NASH. Weight loss can reduce fat, inflammation and fibrosis in the liver. No medicines have been ap approved to treat NAFLD or NASH. As far as uh, dietary patterns are concerned, you may be able to prevent an alcoholic fatty liver disease NAFLD and uh, NAFL or NASH stated your hepatitis or, uh, by eating a healthy diet and maintaining a healthy weight. If you have NAFLD, your doctor may recommend weight loss and diet changes. Non-alcoholic fatty liver NAFLD is a condition in which the excess fat builds up in your liver. This buildup of fat is not caused by heavy alcohol use. When heavy alcohol use causes fat to build up in the liver, this is a condition which is called as alcohol associated liver disease. Two types of NAFLDs are non-alcoholic fatty liver NAFL and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis NASH. People typically develop one type of NAFLD or the other, although sometimes people with one form are later diagnosed with the other form of NAFLD. NAFL is a form of NAFLD in which you have fat in your liver but little or no inflammation or liver damage. NAFL typically does not progress to cause liver damage or complications. However, NAFL can cause pain from enlargement of the liver. NASH is the form of NAFLD in which you have inflammation of the liver and liver damage. In addition to fat in your liver, the inflammation and liver damage of NASH can cause fibrosis or scarring of the liver. NASH may lead to cirrhosis in which the liver is scarred and permanently damaged. Cirrhosis can lead to liver cancer. Experts are not sure why some people with NAFLD have NASH while others have NAFL. NAFLD is one of the most common causes of liver disease in the United States. The majority of people with NAFLD have NAFL. Only a small number of people with NAFLD have NASH. 
Experts estimate about 24% of US adults have NAFLD and about 1.5% to 6.5% of US adults have NASH NASH who is more likely to develop NAFLD the people who have certain diseases certain diseases and conditions including obesity and conditions that might be related to obesity such as type 2 diabetes uh, and studies suggest that one third to two third of people with type 2 diabetes have NAFLD the research also suggests that NAFLD is present in up to 75 percent of people who are overweight and in more than 90 percent of people who have severe obesity NAFLD can affect people of any age, including children. Research suggests that close to 10% of U.S. children ages 2 to 19 have NAFLD. However, people are more likely to develop NAFLD as they age. While NAFLD occurs in people of all races and ethnicities, it is most common among Hispanic individuals followed by non-Hispanic whites and asian americans including those of east asian and south asian descent nafld is less common among non-hispanic blacks on average asian americans with nafld have a lower bmr than non-hispanic whites with nafld experts think that genes may help explain some of the racial and ethnic differences in NFLD. People with NFLD may develop liver complications or other health problems. People with NFL typically don't develop liver complications although they have a highest risk for other health problems. People with NASH can develop liver complications such as cirrhosis and liver cancer. If cirrhosis leads to liver failure, you may need a liver transplant. People with NASH have an increased chance of dying from liver-related causes. What are other problems? Other health-related problems? Um, there are some higher risks for certain health problems, which include cardiovascular disease, which is the most common cause of death in people who have NAFLD and another one is type 2 diabetes and then metabolic syndrome then conditions that may be part of metabolic syndrome such as high blood pressure and abnormal levels of fats cholesterol and triglycerides in the blood that might cause these health problems and uh, cardiovascular is also called as a cvd or cardiovascular disease which is a disease related to your heart and blood vessels and as far as cholesterol is concerned cholesterol is a type of uh, fat produced by your liver and found in your blood cholesterol is also found in some foods your body uses cholesterol to make hormones and build cell walls and it should be less than uh, 200 milligram per deciliter and the people who have diabetes and high blood pressures the level should be as much as low as less than 150 milligram per deciliter the optimal level which is 150 milligram per deciliter so thorough examination of uh, lipid profile should be done for these patients and ultrasound of the liver should be done and uh, triglyceride levels should be uh, done a type which is found in your blood these are type of fat cells uh, which are raised in NFLD so I have briefed you about uh, NFLD and NASH non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis so I think that's this today's topic would be more informative for you and uh, you would be enjoying my video and uh, you will share it to others for uh, public health purposes if you like my video so kindly uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you very much for listening my video 
and have a wonderful nice day thank you very much